Hello, my name is Amy Sholley, and in this video I'm going to show you some ideas for how to create some painterly illustrations using the boards and colors that come in the new Ampersand Sampler Pack. My project focus is working with my hummingbird on this primed smooth panel, but I'll also show you a few ideas on how you can work with Cleaboard. colors that come with the ampersand kit are made by Golden Artist Colors and they're called High Flow Acrylics. High Flow have a consistency similar to ink, so they're quite versatile for a variety of applications. For this project, I will be using them for washes and stains of color as well as some illustrative line. Now the pigments that I have are indigo and green gold. They not only look wonderful on their own, but are really beautiful when you mix them together. They make a variety of greens, which I really love. So I'm going to show you a quick color mixing demo with these and then move on to my paintings. So now I have a lovely selection of greens to use in addition to my indigo and green gold when I paint my panels. And another way to look at stretching out each of these colors is to thin them down with a little bit of water. Water media applications work beautifully on both the primed smooth and clayboard surfaces. Now the more water I add into each of these colors, it's going to dilute it down. With darker colors, you start to see a big difference in how that color behaves. So an easy way to look at this before putting it onto your painting surface is to just make a piece of blotter paper. Here I have green gold by itself, indigo by itself, and then a couple of my greens. The more water I add into each one, I can get a big variation with what the color looks like in its full strength. So this is a really fun way to broaden your palette, especially when you have two colors to start with.
drawing some illustrative line back on top of my painting with this marker. But what I also like to do is have a damp Q-tip on hand to soften the line in different areas. So I can draw with this very easily, but I get this very hard marker edge. If I take the damp Q-tip and lightly buff the edge, my illustrative line starts to look a little bit more painterly. Since I have more working time with my high flow over these smooth boards, if I make any lines that I don't like or that I want to erase, all I have to do is get my Q-tip really wet and I can erase that marker line.